Now let's actually work on animating and making our text a link. I'm going to make it a symbol, but we're going to make a button symbol this time instead of a movie clip. So with the text layer selected, go to Modify, Convert to Symbol, and this time choose Button. Give it a name, I'll just call it Button. Okay, now when we double click on this, notice how the playhead up here is different. Okay, instead of the regular timeline, what we have is an up, over, and down state. I'm going to add a keyframe to the over state. With the text selected, I can change the color. Now I'll add a keyframe to the down state. With the text selected again, I will change the color one more time. Let's go ahead and go back to our scene and hit control and test. Now our text has some hover properties. Notice in between the text, it's not working. Only when you actually hit the text. That's a problem. Let's fix that. So again, let's double click on our button. Okay, and now what we're going to do is actually make a hotspot area around our text. So I'm going to go to the hit state and insert a blank keyframe. Okay, I'm going to come over and grab my rectangle tool and draw a rectangle shape out over the text area. Now click on the scene, the main scene again. And as you can see, if we hit control and test, we now have a much larger hotspot area. That's much better. So we have a hover state and a state when we click, also known as the down state. Now let's make our text button a web link. With the text selected, go to Window and Actions. The left and right angle bracket icon here is the code snippets. Within the code snippets, choose the HTML5 canvas folder and then the actions folder and then choose click to go to web page. You'll get a warning here letting you know that Animate is going to create an instance name. And there's our code. Really, that's all we need to do. Right here, you see where it says adobe.com? That's the web address that the link will go to. I'll just change that to Google. Again, I don't really know what mountainproject.com is, and this is just for demo purposes anyway. From there, that was easy. Let's go to Control and Test. OK, let's try out our link. And that takes us to Google. And that's how you make a text button a link.